For now, it's Jeff from Jaycation and... Jeff from Jaycation, you said? Did I say that? <laughs>
Um, I just uh, think it was a little, uh, you know, a little seedy and everything. It was else. outdated for sure. Yeah, it was definitely outdated. Yeah, definitely outdated. So I think that whatever they're planning there is is something that it was, it'll definitely liven up the strip, especially since it's across from city center and all those high end stores. And I think it'll be a good thing. Yeah, I think it'll be a good addition to the strip. Yeah, and for us live streamers, it actually benefits us because they play the loudest music and the loudest copyright right. music over there. Right. And yeah, it's not the best place. A little CD, you know. You got your, you know, five for thirty dollar T shirt marts and yep. custom like you know custom T shirts and dispensaries yep. and yep. and that Fat Burger me you and Dan versus World went. To. I was just gonna say yeah, we actually went to Fat Burger. They actually had some really good specials. That's the only kind of downfall of that area is that. They actually had decent food and mm -hmm. and some good drink specials, but I guess we'll have to wait and see what uh, comes next for that that whole area. But Vegas is always changing, right? Yeah, and that's prime real estate, man. Like you said, it's right in, right across from City Center, and you know after MGM Grand, you really don't have that much until you get to Planet Hollywood right. on that side of the street. Right. So that that may improve it for sure. You do have Taco Bell Cantina right across the street, so that is a good thing. We've been there before. Right, we've been there before. <laughs> Video coming, it should be coming. But also, in, as long as we're on the news right now, so you've also got the Dream Casino, and this is slated to be right next to the Pinball Hall of Fame Museum, and just down from Mandalay Bay. So that is another property that's coming to the Strip. And, um, you know, good things are happening. And, you know, a lot of, finally, a lot of different things and updating especially after the pandemic. So that's always good signs, you know? Oh yeah, Vegas is always evolving and changing. And I think having that dream casino over on that south side, you know, there's some new things that are over that way too. Um, right. Say Alita's Mexican food, which is a San Diego place. Oh, right. It's right on the- I didn't the, know that. Um, one of the strip malls, right yeah. next to the pinball museum and the gas station over there. Oh, okay. So um, yeah, there's a few things over in that way. Now, and, have you ever done a video on that? On that, that Mexican restaurant, yeah. I did yeah. a segment on one of my videos. I f yeah, one of my videos a couple months back. Okay, so you definitely have to check out Jay Cation's uh, channel for that and uh, check that out because you know what? Here in Vegas, speaking of which, Mexican food, not so much. San Diego is where it's at. So um, this guy would be the one to uh, give you a full review and let you know if it's uh, if it's good or not, you know. Vegas actually holds uh, holds a candle though because they do have you know tacos El Gordo and those those birria spots over in the same area in front of Resorts World and next yep. to the Encore. Yep. Those are pretty good. Yeah, actually, Tacos El Cabron. I don't know if you know this, but at Re Tacos El Cabron at Resorts World, they actually closed that quick. Yeah. So there there are some rumors of some kind of you know, backdoor, something, something, somebody didn't like somebody, gaming, whatever, you know. Uh -huh. Who knows, right? So, uh, but yeah, so all you have is Tacos El Gordo and Tacos El Pastor across the street from mm -hmm. from Resorts World. And then there's like a TJ Birria over there. Mm -hmm. I forgot the name, like the actual name of it, but right. really good beer. I've had it once. There you go. So you've been to Vegas now a lot of times, even though you are a San Diego local. That's where Jay and I actually have a lot in common is that I grew up in San Diego. Jay does a, a lot of content in San Diego. So you being out here in Vegas quite a bit, Fremont Street versus the Strip. Do you think, what, what's your like kind of pros and cons? What do you, what do you, what do you think of it? I mean, what, what do you think is better? What do you, what do you think is, uh, maybe the more favorable that you like. Um, what's your thoughts? This is gonna be an unpopular opinion to some, yeah. but I love the strip. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm more of a modern strip guy. I grew up going to the no, strip. No, that's good. Um, so when, what I remember growing up is going to the Mirage, going to Caesar's Palace, right. and, and hanging ar out around this part of Vegas. Mm -hmm. But there are uh, pros to Fremont Street too. I mean, it's only been, in my opinion, the last few years that Fremont Street has been even more of a hub for people to visit, right. especially with Circa opening during the pandemic. I right. think that really revived a lot of things and a lot of the casinos there making improvements to their casinos. Right. But if you want your old Vegas and you want 
your dose of some history, like right. go to the Main Street Casino and right. you'll see a piece of the Berlin Wall while you're taking a leak. Right. <laughs> <laughs> That's freaking awesome. Right? Exactly. <laughs> I mean, Mark and I actually, on our first episode, we were actually talking about all the plaza changes that they're doing. Mm -hmm. And you did a plaza video there. Yeah. And they're actually doing that whole carousel out in front. They're doing a pink box donuts. Oh, that's awesome. They're, they're extending Oscar's Steakhouse out to the patio. So like an upper tier patio. Oh, that's that would be even nicer. Because yeah. like I, I think Oscar's has one of the nicest views into... Mm -hmm. Fremont Street into where the the LED screens are exactly and uh, and with it with the glass there you don't hear the loud music right and uh, it, it just feels like a classic Vegas experience over in Oscars so yeah, that's exactly. another thing I love about it and one thing that I mentioned with Mark as well uh, in the first episode is that they specifically in their press release said YouTube and Instagram friendly so they get it you know we're trying to promote their hotel their restaurants everything in between so that is really nice that they explicitly said mm -hmm. youtube and instagram friendly because you know as well as i do when you're trying to film sometimes it's like hey you can't film here you know yep. so that's a good addition i agree I, that's why i really like the plaza because they really welcome youtubers and they also go out their way to make displays like that uh, that studio that they have down there that's like an yeah. instagram yeah. thing that's all because of social media they did right. that just for social media and then whenever you go to oscars you're you're greeted by the gm greeted by all the servers over there and they're all happy to be on camera and talk about their menu right and uh yeah i think uh, the plaza has has got it down pat for yeah sure. yeah exactly now on the strip, I mean, you were saying that you really like the strip mm -hmm. a lot, and why is that? I think that the strip is just ever changing. Yeah. And you always experience something new when mm -hmm. you're walking down the strip, and it's just I'm more of a modern Vegas feel guy, I like feel I you. said, and it does change. Like you go into the Bellagio Conservatory every quarter, it changes. Yep. Uh, you go to the fountains, they have a different music every single show. Mm -hmm. um, and it's just, the feel is a little different. You're more wide open yeah. on the strip. So it doesn't feel like you're as like enclosed as you would be in Fremont Street. Because Fremont Street's basically that whole LED section. Right. And people are just bunched in in those like five blocks that right. it's there. Right. Um, so, but I, I mean, I don't, see anything wrong with Fremont Street. It's just, yeah, I'm a Vegas Strip guy. There you go. There you go. I mean, especially with Vegas Strip, we were talking before, is, you know, you have these world-renowned shows, all the Cirque shows, of course, all the famous restaurants and everything. You know, the advantage, I would say, you know, like Fremont Street, you do have the canopy down, mm -hmm. down there, especially in the height of summer like we've got right now. It's a little bit more bearable. And obviously, there's there's things that you can do to beat the heat when you're on the strip. Yeah. And um, there might actually be a video on his channel about something about that. So stay yeah. tuned for that. Somebody uh, might be on it. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, with the strip, you know, you've got so many different options. And I think, you know, that is the beauty of it. You can go someplace inexpensive mm -hmm. and film and, you know, and have some drinks and food. Whereas you could have something more high end like Bellagio or the Cosmo and, uh, you know, really treat yourself. So there's just so many options for so many different people, I think. Yeah, there's something here for everybody. And it's within five, ten minute walk right. of each place. Right. So that's what I like. There's like one minute you're in Venetian and you're in the middle of Venice, Italy. Right. Across the street, you're over in Rome. Right. Exactly. <laughs> then down the way, you're over in, you know, other places of the world. You're in the Luxor. You're in Egypt. Right. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. Uh, there's just so many different options. So it's great to hear your take on it, too. So uh, speaking of which, you, since you have been here in Vegas so many times, like, what would you say is a like your hot take, your hot tip of, you know, that somebody should keep in mind or is a good suggestion to people that are coming here to Vegas? You know, what would you suggest? I think we were talking about this earlier. I, I would definitely recommend making use of those free trams 
all around oh. the strip, especially when it's hot like this. Yeah. This time of the year, you're here in the middle of June. Right. The temperatures are three digits right now. And if you make use of those trams, they're air conditioned and they take you to a lot of places around the strip you wouldn't even think of. Like yeah. from Park MGM, you can get all the way to the Bellagio. Right. And not even break much of a sweat. Right. Because you're well, and the then trail. when that Bellagio enters out, you can get to Ari on the backside back mm -hmm. there too. So, yeah, just like Jay said, you've got you've got the separate monorail that goes from Mandalay Bay to Excalibur, and then the one that goes from Park MGM to virtually Aria, and then you got a little teeny cable car one that goes from the Mirage to, to TI. Yeah. But then you also got the Las Vegas monorail, which goes from MGM Grand on the east side of the Strip all the way down to the convention center. So there's definitely, I, I like that tip. I like that, especially a lot of people can't really handle the heat in the summer. Yeah. So even if it's saving you a little bit of a, you know, even if you have to walk outside for maybe a certain just small section, I think that's still a good way to get around. And those are free too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah and, it, and in the summer, you don't want to get caught outside not knowing where you're gonna go. Yeah. Make sure you know exactly the next place you're gonna go to because it's sweltering hot there and make sure you always have a water bottle with you because one too many people have thick yardsticks are gonna keep them hydrated, right, but right. that that does the opposite. Right, exactly. <laughs> yeah, that's not exactly something you're supposed to do. Yeah, Yeah. because a lot of times on the strip, I mean, with the, with the pavement and everything, it's in like the 120s when we get like in those 110 degree, mm -hmm. you know, air temperature. So uh, it's definitely something to uh, consider and just to uh, keep yourself away from that heat, especially in the Vegas. Anything else you, that you would like to share that you have come across as well here in Vegas? Oh, since it's, we're sticking with heat, yeah. you know, I'm looking right at the pool here at the, at the Flamingo, yeah. and a lot of people walk barefoot in the middle of the day when it's 110 degrees. How do they it's do like that? walking on hot lava, man. Right, right, exactly. So you're gonna wanna bring a pair of slides or flip flops with you mm -hmm. and just perch them down by the pool and just keep, remember where you leave them so they don't, right. you don't lose them. Right. But uh, always have your flip flops right, exactly. on the pool this time of year because it's, it's hot lava out there on the cement. Tell and then that. if you're, you're, you're drinking one of those yardsticks, you may not even know that the feet are all burning up too. Yep because you might be all numb from that. So you definitely don't want to do that. So, mm -hmm. so Jay, all right, so you're Mr. San Diego. You got the YouTube, it's Jaycation. And in fact, I even saved <laughs> a little Jaycation sticker. So nice. what is next for Jaycation on the Jaycation YouTube channel? A lot more San Diego, Yeah. a lot more Las Vegas. Yeah. And, uh, I think I was telling you, I'm, I'm craving some Hawaii content. Ooh. Maybe ooh. some Hawaii content. But, yeah. Uh, we're definitely going to keep going with uh, the San Diego, Las Vegas route. Yeah. And uh, I might bring back more live streams. I think uh, yeah. live streams are a great way to talk to the viewers out there like you that's yeah. watching right now. Yeah, I agree. I agree. Any, any plans for any world travel at all now that we're coming out of, you know, the situation? I'm thinking about going back to Barcelona. I used to live in Barcelona from 2016 to 2018, and it's been almost four years since I've seen my friends over there and yeah. people I consider family. Right. So uh, a couple weeks in Barcelona before the year's over won't, won't hurt. I like it. I like uh, it. And then maybe a little jaunt over to uh, England or something like that? Uh, maybe Portugal. I have a friend moving to Lisbon. Oh, okay. So maybe, maybe another trip to Lisbon. Yeah. Um, and uh, Paris, maybe. Ooh. Paris. I've never I love, been to Paris. I love Paris. Yeah. Um, I think it's uh, something that people have to go a couple of times mm -hmm. to understand it a little more and like get the culture and you have to put effort into enjoying Paris, I believe. Gotcha, so. gotcha. I mean, we have a little bit of Paris here on the Las Vegas yeah, Strip. Yeah, we have a mini uh, Eiffel, Eiffel Tower. Tower. Yeah, yeah it's exactly. It's actually a pretty nice Eiffel Tower, to tell you the truth. Yeah, like exactly. That. I mean, you can get a wonderful dinner there, and you can go all the way to the top and get some amazing views of the fountains and everything mm -hmm. else. So, hey, you're bring, we're bringing Paris to you, just like Jay was saying earlier. There's something for everybody on the Strip from every part of the world. So yep. I think that that's beauty. So... Well, Jay, thank you for uh, you got being it, with me and of having course. episode two of Vegas News and Tips with Vegas People. And if you like this episode, everybody, please hit the thumbs up and hit subscribe. 
Also, make sure you subscribe to my man Jay Cation right there and uh, check his channel out if you don't know who Jay is. He's got a ton of content on his channel, primarily San Diego, but a lot of Vegas content. So you're definitely going to want to check that out. A lot of food reviews. You collab with a lot of different people. So definitely want to check out Jay's channel as well. And of course, as well, subscribe to Jay and K Stay in Vegas. And for all the latest local news here in Vegas and everything happening. And we got live streams for you as well. All right, folks, till the next episode. We hope you've enjoyed this. For now, it's Jeff from Jaycation and... Jeff from Jaycation, you said? Did I say that? <laughs> <laughs> Jeff from Jaycation. Right, it just rhymes. Jeff from JK Stay in Vegas and... JJ from Jaycation. There you go. Until the next episode, <laughs> thanks everybody for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye, everybody.